Hi guys, today I'm here to chat all about holiday gift sets, more specifically those that are available from Sephora. But all this week we're chatting holiday. Coming up in my next video, it'll be Sephora continued because there's so many, along with things that are available at Beauty Boutique and some other stores, and then ending the week with a drugstore holiday gift set guide, review, whatever you want to call it. In all honesty, I don't have that many beauty lovers in my life with the exception of like other YouTubers and bloggers. So really, these are all kind of things that I like for myself. I don't know about you, I don't receive that many gifts, not to be like sad or anything, but luckily I have the ability to purchase things for myself. And these are all some really great items. So let's go ahead and get started. So first let's talk about a bunch of items that I have on my face from Marc Jacobs. If you're wondering about what's on my face, it's always listed in the description. And I did just film a mini hair tutorial for Instagram. So stay tuned for that. But first, what I'm so excited about is this beautiful highlighter. I'm wearing it on this cheek. I'm wearing another highlighter on this cheek, so stay tuned for that. But this is the um, Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer, and it is definitely that. When I swatch this, like this really almost looks borderline like an eyeshadow and I was a little bit scared to actually put it on my face. I wouldn't use a super dense brush with this, but ooh, baby, she is gorgeous. Um, it's a very strong gold, very metallic. I wouldn't go as far to say it's foil, but it's very close and it has this very gold look, but there's also a little bit of pink in there, which I think is just so incredibly gorgeous. I'm also wearing it on my inner corner today. Um, then they also have the uh, sequins, which are glam glitter eyeshadows. These are so pretty. I'm wearing the purple one today. I wanted to wear this one, but I was like, put some color on your face, Samantha. It's not all about gold. Uh, the shade I'm wearing on my eyes is Glamethyst, which is the purple, of course. And then there's also the shade Gleam Girl, which I swatched for you. These are so pretty. They look a little bit flaky almost, but it's like when you blend it out in your eye, it almost turns into like this powdery cream, like fusion. There's tons of metallic in there. So it's not like a straight up glitter. It's somewhere in between like a glitter and a foiled eyeshadow. I found it very easy to work with. I did use a brush with it though, believe it or not, uh, but I thought it looked gorgeous. I put it on after my foundation. I had a little bit of fallout, but nothing, nothing major. Be careful if you do pick these up, there is a little like stopper that presses it all down if you're familiar like remember those l'oreal eyeshadows there's a liz wattier one i've talked about before um don't remove that make sure you keep that in there it says it on it too like do not dispose of or something like that but these are really really pretty then i am also wearing this gloss and this gloss is called the shine a light enamored high shine gloss this is beautiful like all the packaging on this just makes it so incredibly appealing <laughs> but uh, I only have a little bit of this on because my eyes were you know kind of glittery I didn't want to do too much glitter on my eyes and lips but I thought this was beautiful you could wear it on your own you could wear it over other lipsticks it adds a little bit of shine. Like I said, I only put a tiny bit on. You can get a little bit more of the goldy pink coming through if you build it up, but I just wanted a little bit kind of to add a little juiciness to my lips. And then the last thing from Marc Jacobs is the Mega Brush. It's supposed to be um, pretty multi-purpose. I actually have not used it yet. I meant to use it today for my makeup, but I think what I'm really gonna like this for is bronzer. I know, is it? No, it's Tom Ford that has a brush that everybody gushes over. I have not tried that, um, but I am curious to try this one. And if you do have a makeup lover in your life or you are one yourself, uh, this would be beautiful for the vanity. I'm going to bounce back between like hair care, skin care, makeup, keep it interesting. So for a skin care, I wanted to mention this. It is from Drunk Elephant. It is the Agent Ellie. And this is such a good deal. I feel like Drunk Elephant does a really good job with their minis and with their holiday stuff. This is 138 US value for $88 US and I believe it's 110 Canadian. I didn't see it on the Sephora website. Things are kind of coming in and out of stock and I know I'm a little late getting to this uh, video. But anyways, you still may be able to find it in store. I wanna mention it because I have had such an incredible experience using uh, Drunk Elephant products this year. And so you're getting the C Firma Day Cream in here. I believe there's another one that has the TLC Framboos, which is a great serum as well. This one is the Daytime. 
And I believe for the full price of this serum, you're also getting these extra bonuses. One of the brands that I think does the best at the holidays is Bite Beauty, because there's a lots of brands out there who will go to different distributors and make their products cheaper or put it in stupid, bulky, wasteful packaging. <laughs> but Bite Beauty always does a great job coming out with minis that are a nice selection. They're travel friendly. They're the products we know and love in a smaller size. And I just think they do an incredible job. So always, always happy to see what they come out with. The first thing is the Four Little Bites set. My only problem is that they didn't come out with a mini liquid lipstick set this year, and I love their liquefied lipsticks. But this is the Four Bites liquid, no, little, <laughs> Four Little Bites Mini Muse Bouche Lipstick Set. I love the shades that they chose to put in here. You have Nori, uh, Tannin, Date, and Saki. I know Nori generally comes in their bite sets uh, in previous holiday kits, but the other three I believe are newer, at least to the holiday set. Then they also have the, what are they calling these? Sweet Treats? Yeah, sweet treats. So they, they have the party prep and then the holiday hangover, but they both come with the same items. So you get a mini agave lip mask, uh, you get the agave lip balm mini, and then a travel size lip scrub. And then same can be said for this one, just in lavender. And then I think this is the first time they've done a holiday, a truly holiday uh, agave lip mask. And this one is in the scent candy cane. It has a tiny bit of color to it, not much and the scent is just kind of minty. So it's it's nice that it's it's holiday, but it's not obviously holiday. Let's talk hair for a minute. Any of my curly friends out there getting curly hair products at the holidays is great because I feel like I run through so much of it and it's such an essential. When you get to a certain age, it's like I ask for black ankle socks every single year because that's what I always need and I never go buy it for myself. So this is another thing where it's just such a useful thing to get, a great way to try new products. So this is the Diva Curl Curly Care Kit. In here, you're getting the Melt Into Moisture Treatment Mask, the Cleansing Condition, these are, these two next products are full size, the others are all minis. The No Poo Original One Condition, uh, shampoo or no poo and conditioner. Then you're getting a styling cream and the set it free uh, spray. So I think this is such a good deal. Uh, it retails for 48 American. I can't remember the uh, American, sorry, Canadian price off the top of my head, but as always, sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Uh, Diva Curl is such a good curly hair brand. So if you you yourself or anybody you know is struggling with your hair, this might be a nice gift to get them. Dior Holiday is always insanely gorgeous. Every Every year they come out with these beautiful oh no that's not the lipstick beautiful lipsticks and they are the same every year but at the same time I don't know I think they're just so cool uh, they may not be for everybody but I am wearing the shade stunning today which I think is such an interesting color it's not a typical holiday shade and then of course you have a more kind of traditional beautiful red Dior makes great lipsticks and although it might be fun to get someone a bunch of little things if you do have like a $50 spending limit and they are like a true junk just one single lipstick from Dior or I'm about to mention a YSL I think for me is very special because it's the kind of thing that again you might not necessarily go buy for yourself because it just seems obscene to spend that much on a lipstick but it is really special and you know you have a lot of people say why is that lipstick $50 and blah 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 and like say whatever you want and spend your money however you want but to me there is something special even if I am blinded by packaging or a brand name there's something special about it I'll never forget when I bought my first Dior highlighter there's there's just something to it and I think that their holiday collections are so beautiful. Uh, if you have a nail junkie, again, this is so pretty. I There was kind of like a light pink one that I sent home to my grandmother. I think she's gonna love not only the packaging but the color and I think that this one is really pretty. It's in the shade Promise with an E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, prom, prom, Promise? Promisee? I don't know. I'm not French or fancy enough, but I do really like Dior nail polishes and I love their holiday packaging. But if you're wondering what this secondary highlight is, it is the Dior Rouge Blush Midnight Wish Couture Color 001. Basically what this is, is a highlighter. My only issue with this is I wish it came in cute packaging, which is probably foolish, but from the outside it looks like any other Dior highlighter or Dior, Dior quad, but from the inside it's just so beautiful. I love that the Marc Jacobs had the gold and I love that they put the gold on these, so I wish they had done it with this. You know, it's probably superficial, it's 100% superficial, but 
that's what I want. A brand that I think gets ignored not only at the holidays but all year round is Sephora Collection and I think they make some great stuff and I highly highly recommend their cream lip stains. They're one of my favorite things that they do and they've got some great little sets. This first one is a kind of mini set and I just checked the Sephora website. It's $12 on sale for eight bucks. Like buy this for yourself, buy this for someone else, buy a backup. Um, and the shade selection in here is nice. You get a dark, a red, a nude, a kind of fuchsia. I really love the formula on these. Oh, geez. Well, that was more dramatic than it needed to be. <laughs> and there's a ton of shades in the original formula. But I like this set better because I find those minis are really small. So these are the uh, full size cream lip, lip stains and this is $28. Again, a really nice selection of shades in here. And I meant to mention this at the beginning, but think about any of these gift sets. You could easily divide them up between friends. You know, if you have two friends that you're, you know, you need to buy for, you could buy this set, give them each three, wrap it up in a bow, put it with chocolates. Like that's an amazing gift because the holidays can be an incredibly sad and stressful and expensive time of year and you don't want to make it any harder on yourself than you need to be so think about those kind of things as well because I almost think that that can be more special than just giving someone this is kind of personalizing it and, and putting little groupings together of things that you know people are going to truly love but I mean I'd still love to see this under the tree um, but I think that that's a great set then they also come out with bags every single holiday and I still use the bag from last year when I travel I always get questions about it this one I love of, but I don't totally know how I'm going to use it because it's kind of like you can see how thin it is it's like an envelope but I just love that it's like this see-through with the like I don't know I just love this semi-transparent style of bag things are falling off my lap here but let me know how you would use this bag I really think it's so cute and they've got a big variety of, of kind of bags and glittery things so they're almost a little bit more like New Year's Eve and festive over like straight up Christmas moving on to NARS I also think they do a really great job at the holidays and they put together really nice kind of sets and the bags are always good again I use my bag from last holiday it's like a gold bag you probably have seen it in some of my travel videos but it was a gold bag with lips this is super cool too it's red with your safety pins here. In this one, you're getting four of their lip crayons, all really pretty shades. And I believe there is another one that's more nude. But for me, I would personally rather see a bigger variety in there because if you're giving it to one person or if you're buying it for yourself, not that these are all like the exact same shade. And if this is the kind of shade you wear, then I guess that makes sense. But for me, I'd rather see a variety of shades in there. But that being said, these are still the original pencils, no change in formulation, still amazing quality. So if you like like a berry or a red, this is such a good way to try these lip pencils and the velvet matte lip pencils are so good. And this bag is so good. I travel with, like I said, the gold version of that all the time. Then they also have these little duos coming in these little boxes, almost gives me like Cal Von D vibes, but totally reusable again could keep this on your vanity put cotton um, pads in here you get two little mini things and these are so cute I actually haven't used the highlighter it looks really pretty but today I am wearing the blush in Dolce Vita and I wasn't expecting it to look like it looks kind of fair in the pan almost but I really like the way it looks on my cheeks I can see why it's kind of a classic shade and then you're also getting the highlighter in Capri and I mean how often do we run through a highlighter or a blush like I'm pretty sure that's a myth that you can even finish one, but I love that you're getting the minis. They come in still the gorgeous, as we expect, soft touch NARS matte packaging, uh, and you're getting great quality products in here. So really, really love those. A great holiday gift for yourself or for somebody else who's into their brows is the Balm Ass Brows from Benefit by Desi Perkins. This is such a great kit, and Benefit is another one of those brands that does a great job at the holidays. But what I love about this the most is not only does it include probably my top product of the year not to not to um give away spoilers of my best in beauty but it includes the benefit 24-hour brow center but it's in pink it's so cute it's so freaking cute like I wish I didn't care about packaging so much but I do um, but you're getting a ton of different products in here but what I think is the most interesting is that everything is not in the exact same shade so what they're doing is basically encouraging you to play around with the different shades to add dimension to your brows to make them look more real more full and I think that's a really interesting concept and also you're be you're able to try out a bunch of different products from benefit again you could easily split this up between friends because there is different shades in here the pink is such a gorgeous color 
or on its own if somebody is like obsessed with Desi or loves rose gold or loves Benefit I think it's just the perfect little set. For the glitter lovers out there I've got a bunch of items from Cover FX. Uh, I did do a get ready with me using some holiday products about a month ago now so I'll link to that down below because some of these you may have already seen in that video and then other things have shown up more recently but two kind of smaller sets here. The first is the Glam and Glow Liquid Lights set so you're getting two minis of the glitter drops, two minis of the custom enhancer drops. And the reason I like this so much is that these types of products I feel like it would take me a long time to get through one of them, especially the glitters, unless you're like putting it on your entire body. So it's nice to have the mini. Then you also get the Glam and Glow Shimmer Veil Trio. So these are, I'm not as familiar with these, but I believe you can use these on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. Yes, eyes, lips, and cheeks. So nice to have some minis in there. But if you know somebody who is a glitter junkie or a custom effects, junkie in general, or again, you could split it up. You're going to hear me say it a million times over. This is the, what are they calling this? This is like their vault. So it's quite big. Four best-selling shades of their custom enhancer drops, and then three of the multi-dimensional drops. And this is just like, just opening this up, I just feel like angels should be singing like, this is a beautiful set to split up, especially because this ain't cheap and you're getting full size products in there. So if you are looking to split something up, this would be a good route to go instead of picking up the individual full sizes, which will cost you much more. Let's move back to skincare. I have two items here from Glam Glow. I have the Art of Glowing Skin Superstar set. So in here, you're getting the full size original kind of super mud. Then you're getting the pink uh, gravity mud which is the glitter one and then you're also getting the gravity mud original can you hear that dog in the hallway um the gravity mud purple so that that's the original one that they came out with i think and then here i thought this was interesting because i thought that this was all of the different masks that they had in minis but actually it's all gravity mud so you're getting it in just a bunch of different shades or colors, whatever you want to say. So the Art of Glowing Skin Paint the Town set easily could be split up between friends if you wanted to do like three of the Sephora liquid lipsticks, like one or two of these. Terry's Chocolate Orange, obviously. Um, but uh, if you are an individual and you do happen to love uh, the Gravity gravity Mud, then this could be a great option for you too. So really fun. It also comes with stencils, a painter's palette. So it is a really fun way to mask. And I believe it was actually Elf, an Elf event that I was at, and they called it Skintertainment. So it's kind of this world we're in now where it's borderline just for fun, but also has skincare benefits, which it, it, it's not for everybody. And I can kind of see how people can poke fun at all these brands doing these silly masks but I think as long as you're not hurting your skin if you can have fun doing that kind of thing there's a lot of more expensive or more dangerous ways to have fun than putting a glitter mask on so <laughs> I think it's a fun gift okay my camera died I am talking so much I'm trying to get through all these products <laughs> and give you explanations and talk about my thoughts on them but also not speak too fast but also not have the video be really long and it's hard to find that balance sometimes. But anyways, let's move back to some beautiful, beautiful high-end makeup from YSL. These lipsticks, similar to the Dior, give somebody one of these, they, they should probably be satisfied, in my opinion. These are the Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks. They've got weight to them, which feels so good. Beautiful black packaging with a glittery YSL, but then the actual lipstick itself has YSL imprinted all over it. I tried to show it in my close-up shots. I'm not sure if it really came off, but incredibly gorgeous. Both of these shades are so pretty. There's a bunch of different shades. Then they also have the Touche Clot, which is just a classic. I'm excited to revisit this. I have used it in the past, but now that I like a more like dewy natural kind of thing and I'm wearing less foundation not today but most of the days <laughs> I'm curious to give this another try and then I'm also wearing this today it's the face highlighter duo stick so it does have a duo look to it I don't think there's that much of a difference between the two shades that are in there but that being said I think it gives a gorgeous natural glow it's not too gold not too champagne doesn't have a ton of glitter in there really nice kind of compact packaging so this is very very pretty but I don't think the duo actually does anything I have two sets here from Buxom the first one I think would be again a great candidate for a splitting up because I don't know that anybody needs four of these bobs I mean if someone really really loves them yes and they're not the full size but uh, you're getting four of the mini powerful plump 
lip balms, which I really like these. I only swatched one of them because, like I said, the holidays is a wasteful time and I want to do giveaways for you. Uh, I give to a shelter here in Toronto, especially around the holidays, and I don't want to just like swatch everything and use everything only once because there's only so much that I can put on my face and I'm really trying to be less wasteful and donate more um, because it just, this industry is a very wasteful one. So, but like why the eye veil? I feel like that's a waste of time unless it's around Halloween and you happen to need an eye veil. I just don't think it's something that people are going to use, you know? But this set I love. It's the Black Tie Tea Six Piece Lip Kit, again with the eye veil. But I love the shades that come in here. I think that this is something you could totally give to a one person because there's enough variety in here in finishes and in textures. The colors are all on the neuter side. I love the colors that they put in here. So highly recommend this. Let me know what you think about the eye veil thing. I don't know. I just think it's unnecessary. Like, I think it's just, some people aren't going to use that, and I feel like it's, you know, I'd rather have saved the whatever two bucks or something that they tacked onto the price of this, but I like the actual products that are in here. Perfume is a very personal thing to give, but I do really like this set. It's the Atelier Cologne, so it kind of depends on, you know, who you're giving to, do, what do they like, etc., etc. Um, Atelier has a bunch of different sets, but this is a really, really cute one. It comes with this little pouch that says Happy Holidays. One of my favorites from them is the Clementine California, and all of their scents, none of them are like too floral, too perfumey, uh, too powdery or too fruity. They're always just really nice and balanced. I feel like they're very sophisticated scents. I do love these little minis. You get a nice amount of product in here. I mean, I would barely call this a mini, maybe like fun size or something, but it is a really nice uh, set to either give to someone else, split it up. How many times can I say it? I'm boring myself here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so that is everything. There is plenty more to come. My uploads may be a little off this week, so I'm going to try and get these videos up as fast as possible. Very delayed in getting them out. Sometimes when products are being sent to me, I it takes a little longer to get to Canada. It's a very busy time. And then also I wanted to actually test out these products to be able to give you a true review. So sorry that it's coming to you a little bit late, but I hope you still found it helpful or, you know, you were able to spend 20 minutes washing dishes, doing your makeup, all that good stuff. Uh, but stay tuned for another video on gift sets and then another drugstore gift set video coming later this week. Let me know if anything caught your eye. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.